Hi there. Welcome back to another one of my videos. You see my thumbnail. Why do I like the smell of petrol? Yeah, whenever I visit gas station, I just cut a scent of gasoline from the nozzle of the fuel dispenser. At the same time, I totally hate the smell of diesel and its exhaust in general. Do you also enjoy the smell of petrol? You have a company. Why is it so? To understand the spirit of a petrol smell addiction, you need to understand the chemistry, a bit of history, human physiology, and its alarming impacts on children. First, let's look into the ingredients itself. Petrol and diesel are both obtained from crude oil by fractional distillation method. However, they differ in the composition. Both petrol and diesel are composed of mixes of hydrocarbons like alkanes, cycloalkanes, aromatic hydrocarbons, and some complex chemicals like asphaltenes. Petrol or gasoline contains hydrocarbons with chains between 5 to 10 carbon atoms long, with diesel's chain being slightly longer at 10 to 15 atoms. Diesel also contains more energy than petrol per liter, making it a more efficient fuel. So what makes petrol? A pleasant smelling fuel while diesel a horrible smelling fuel. Not all the hydrocarbons in the fuel are simple straight chains. There are also cyclic and aromatic carbon compounds present. Though these compounds are called aromatic, they don't always smell pleasant. Petrol has some of the lighter aromatics like benzene and toluene and these don't smell too bad. While diesel has relatively more of the heavier aromatics like naphthalene, which are not very nice. Here, benzene is the one responsible for petrol sweet smell that are also found in things like cleaning solutions, paint and some glues. Did you know that benzene once was motor fuel? In the early years of automobiling, what Americans called gasoline and British call petrol was either pure benzene or a mixture of containing primarily benzene. And that's why, in the early 1900s, some of the rich women used petrol as a perfume and men used it in aftershave lotions. As its toxicity became obvious, benzene was replaced by another solvent like toluene, which has similar physical properties but is not as carcinogenic. However, benzene is an important starting material for many perfume ingredients. One of the most important perfume ingredients derived from benzene is 2-phenyl ethanol. Phenyl ethanol is a major component of rose oils and is widely used in perfumery. Well, what exactly happens when you inhale petrol? Petrol fumes pass from the lungs to the bloodstream and then to the brain. And you know that dopamine is a neurotransmitter, a protein that transmits signal in the brain. Whenever your smelling sense nerves, get that heat of benzene, the mesolimbic system delivers a pleasing shot of dopamine. It's essentially your brain telling you, yes, this is good, inhale more of this. As a result, you'll start inhaling more gasoline smell. It slows down brain activity and depresses the central nervous system in a similar way to alcohol. A small to moderate amount of gasoline can cause dizziness and headaches. However, Large amounts could lead to hallucinations, loss of consciousness, and even death. Oops, let's limit ourselves. Don't intentionally sniff this stuff. I do like the smell of petrol, but I'm not addicted. Sadly, there are about 4,60,000 children and 1.8 lakh adults across India are addicted to inhalants like petrol, paint, whitener, etc., says a recent survey report. Moreover, according to the Union Ministry of Social Empowerment, inhalants are third most addictive substance among children after opioids and alcohols. An interesting case reported was about an 8-year-old from Bengaluru who was addicted to petrol. He used to chiffon off small quantities of petrol from his parents' vehicles and keep sniffing it. His craving for petrol and paint was came to be known only when the child had seizures. This is one of the example cases of inhalant addiction. 
Why do children get addicted to inhalants? The simple answer is their availability. That making children much more vulnerable. So let's keep an eye on those inhalants and children. I hope this video is informative. Thanks for watching.